Hi everyone, this is Lori coming here from the Break Zone with another box opening video for Opus 5. As a current, as a small reminder, we're still running the giveaway for the sleeves, lightning sleeves. Square Enix product, 60 pieces. So if you hit the subscribe button, when we hit 400 subscribers, we will be randomly picking the winner of those sleeves and we'll reach out to you and get them to you. So without further ado, yeah, uh, there we go. Come on, help me out of your box. Okay, there we go. Sealed product is always nice. Square Enix really knows how to do it. High quality stuff, man. And let's set it up just like a store display. Give you that store feeling of opening packs. Hey, you guys just opened a whole new box, a brand new box. Can I, can I buy a couple packs? Can I buy maybe the top left one and see what happens? All right. Exciting to see. First pack, best pack. We had that happen to the other box. Let's see if this one can do it. Or double legendary pack. Still looking for that. What is it? It's box number five. Okay. Comments out of the way. World Berserker out of the way. Oh. Didn't notice these got kind of in the way. Too many cards, man. Just too many cards. And starting off with Lightning. Not bad. All right. Moving on to second pack. This is all nice and lined up. I'm going to try to go through this a little faster. I mean, oh my god, thank goodness. I don't know. What do you guys think? 20 minutes, box opening videos, kind of long. We're talking about 36 packs. Even if I were to open a pack every 30 seconds, we're talking about, what, 18 minutes? That'd still be pretty quick. So, plus it rains. Bam. You guys know the card. You guys know it's awesome. Kick some butt over today on the Ohio Petite Cup. I saw a game finish using Vans. Uh, what was it? Dole ability and the cannot block this turn ability. I think it was like Ash couldn't block and the other one was dull so that because Ash normally can reactivate her using her abilities but they took care of that so full Nana Mingo and a Yang okay I mean, oh man that's but the foil the the light spot's so hard to deal with like you whether you want to pick light or dark in the deck that's that's the risk you want to take, but Van is Van can't be a finisher, man. That's that's pretty awesome. Full Edward, yeah, he's a heroic. It's a heroic pile. And Ozma, always happy to see this card. Ozma is a great card. Ozma, I don't know. I mean, it's you can search it, uh, search for it with uh, Steiner. So if you're trying to pull that off, that's great. With uh, the starter Steiner, wait, Opus three Steiner, not Opus four. But after that, you still have to pay for it. But normally, when we play water, you, you're gonna have summons out, uh, backups out, so that should be all right. Hey, for Rafia looks really nice. Look at that. Look at that. And Camelot. That's a good pack. For Rafia, man. That's legit. I mean, I know some people that had all foil water deck and that looked awesome. And maybe they'll need to update it with, oh man, full Diabolos. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Mobius art, foil, legendary. The only thing you could top it is having a second legendary in here. But yeah, you know what? Star Sybil. So it does a trick for me. Good pack. Great pack. Alright, next we got... Let's see. What do we expect? Mm, I want more Yishtolas. I can never have enough Earth Wall. But for now, got a Foil Trickster. And a Royal Rightness. Not my favorites, but not too bad. A 
lot of packs, guys. That's a lot of packs open this time. Okay, we got a four Moogle Knight. Neither Moogle nor Knight. But, Luso. Cool. <laughs> the fact that they have all these expressions on those guys, that's pretty awesome. Oh, that's two packs. Sorry. Put you back in here. Can't spoil all the fun. Can't, can't open two packs at once. That's not how it goes. I want to mix and match. Oh, goodness. Not easy to open. Great job packaging this thing, guys. Square Enix. Love you guys. Full Tom Berry. Aw, look at that. So cute. Such a cute card and foil. And... Rosa, great card. Is it a great card? Let's take a look. X burst. Enters the field. They search for one card named Cecil at your hand. Ah. So she's technically a 2 draw 5k. And Dolly shoots one forward. During the, this turn, the next damage dealt to it is reduced by 1000. And if the force is named Cecil, it's reduced by 3000 instead. You know what? You could search for that legendary Cecil if you wanted to. Or get a foil Noel starter card and arc. Yep, loving those warriors of lights. Is that the first one I got this time? Yeah, first one I got so far. First stack, I don't know. Van, that's good. Diabolos is good. Let's see, foil Refia, awesome. Foil arc. Whew, that is, that is some good stuff. And Talum. <sighs> sad times. That's just sad times, man. Well, at least not like a foil Talum. That's like super sad. That, that's like your foil legendary has been, the spot has been taken by a foil Talum. That would just be sad. All right, that, that's a good foil though, on the other hand. Foil of a million bird sees Zuyu. Saw this used in stream today. And Luge. Yeah, that I did not see, have uh, seen used in play. So, second stack, let's move this out a little bit. Yoink. There we go. And that foil stack's a little small, that means I got a lot of foil, uh, foil heroics. That's not a bad thing. There we go. And we've got Thief. So some people are saying this is actually a really good backup. I think it's pretty good. Good early game, because it's 2-drop. Late game, you can uh, search for their hand. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And Calbrina. Okay, let's see. What do I want? Earth Warrior, Earth Wall, uh, Ishtola. Let's see. Mach 2. Mach 2 is not one I asked for, but starter card foil. Yep, can't say no to that. Orphan. Yeah, that, that's a good time. 6 drop 9k. Good times. When Orphan enters the field, choose up to two forwards, open the controls. Dole them. If you control five or more ice characters, freeze them also. When Orphan attacks, choose one forward, open the controls, freeze it. You know what? Nothing wrong with that card. Bunch of abilities on it. Can't say no to that. Okay, foil Kalia Cheval. That Lua in the back. And that's a Lua. Surprise! Okay, you know what, Elua is a good card, man. I, I think Elua is going to be pretty good. Lightning's going to like that card. Because normally Lightning likes to kind of go slow, but with Elua and with some kind of damage reduction or whatnot, or damage. Oh, that's sweet. For Carbuncle, Mobius Art. Yeah, that that is, that is sweet. With a 
Adele, love you too. Not bad, not bad. So far this stack has been pretty interesting. All right. Oh. Yeah, I can make sure it's nice and open so I can just slide out the cards. There we go. And kind of near, not really my cup of tea. On the other hand, is that a dark card? It's a dark card. Nope, that's the Emperor. But that's still good. Haha. <laughs> Are you guys hyped for this Emperor? I think it's good. It's on curve. You could discard it for uh, for CP also. And if anybody tries, if there's any deck that comes up that tries to draw too many cards, then the Emperor is just gonna kind of take a dump on them, really. I mean. Be able to dull and freeze characters or opponent controls when they do that. It's definitely good times for you. Play lock, one turn uh, Minwu, and Odin. These box openings, oh, take a toll on your body now, I'll admit. All these packs, so sturdy. Bunker Beast, neither Bunker nor Beast. Yeah, foil. Bismarck. So many summons have been getting like upgrades lately, and that's pretty awesome in my opinion. Getting the whole modular thing where you get to pick out, hey, do you want to do this or that or this and that? Like which two do you pick? Personally, that that leads to a lot of great plays, great lines of plays, great possibilities on how to play your deck and how to interact with your opponent. With a, if he has a foil batter on, which you probably don't, and Diabolos. Wow, foil and regular Diabolos. Don't mind if I do. So far, what? Six? Oh, six legendaries. Not bad. Still hoping for the double legendary pack, though. Gotta keep the dream alive. But foil heal Gigas is not gonna do it for me. Neither is it gonna be Death Gaze. What is it? A three drop to end of turn becomes a four seven thousand power. Can't be blocked by fours with power greater than than itself. You know what? That could do the trick. If too many guys try to get too big, death gaze just might go right under and keep going. <sighs> wow. Yep. Foil Osma. See that? Yep. That's awesome. Like the Osma in the middle, it looks 2D, and the background looks awesome when it's foiled like that. And wall. Good pack. Very good pack. Love Osma. Love foil Osma even more. It's one of those things where it's like, could he get better? Interested. See, foil phoenix. Oh man, talk about good foils back to back. And ah, not as good. Wrong vermilion bird. The other one's better. All right, last pack of the stack. Psychom Enforcer and Edward. Yeah, definitely not really how I wanted to end this stack. Let's move on to the happier third stack. Okay, what else do you guys think we should need? Probably Earth Wall, Ishola. I think Ishola. I'm overdoing Ishola. It's been a while since I've seen one. Foil Ishola would be better though. If I could get one of those, that'd be great. Sid, that's win, but that's not what I wanted. Come on, is there just, whew, there's just too much stuff going on here. Hard to see all the foils like that, gotta, gotta do the foils justice, you know? There we go. Gotta make sure you guys get all that shiny action on the foils, otherwise they wouldn't be worth it.
Assassin foil. Cool looking card. Good art. Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced 2. Art's great. And Refia. Awesome card. I mean, the fact that she boosts. Man, does, I, I want to see all these Warrior of Lights like just kind of be around with all the anthems and everything and just get real big. But there's always a strategy against it. You know, start running the... Uh, what's his name? Kubaloi Yin. That's a thing. Hey! Full Godot. Useful card. Very cool. And there we go. The right bird with C. That's the one you want. Not the other one. This one. Alright, let's take a look at what our next pack brings to us. May the pack gods, the pack lugs be with me. And maybe a double, double legendary pack. Nope. But for Buckaboo, much hyped card. Let's see if it actually lives up to the hype later on. And Ingus. Oh, I love Ingus. Love Earth. Love the boost. And the fact that you can uh, throw three active fours or backups to give for 2,000 to return to one of your characters. Or your forwards. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Foil Sid. Not what I wanted. But it'll work. And... Zemus. Ooh. All right. We're not quite there yet on the end of the stack. Well, let's see. No, we are halfway through. Including this pack. No, wait. This pack is seventh pack. So there's six packs left. Let's see what we get here. Whew. Wow. Foil Ilua. Yeah, you guys can see it from here. Yeah, the foil is awesome. Yep. And Thancred. Not as good, but Lightning Pack. Not bad. Let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight legendaries so far. There's still a chance for that legendary double pack. Legendary double legendary pack. But not with this guy. You just wrecked my luck, Rex. And Alodai did not cut it. Eh, you can't win them all, but you know I did just pull a Zemus, so not complaining. All right, this pack is Ninja. It's like a red mage, but only once. And Arya. Okay, what else we got? Was it four packs left, including this one? We've got Balthier, starter card, full starter card. Looking good, Balthier. Cloud of Darkness. So do I want to count this as like a hypothetical double legendary? Well, it doesn't really, it's, it's different, right? Because I mean, what happens when you have a, a set where there's starter decks, it is much harder to get a hypothetical double legendary. And I personally would count a, a foil starter plus a legendary card, a double legendary. And th in this case with Balthier, let's see. When he enters the field, he's on curve, three drop, 7k. When he enters the field, we move the top five cards. Uh, add one sky drop. Sky, drop Sky Pirate among them to your hand and return the other cards to the bottom of your deck. Yeah, it's not bad. For Black Knight, Carbuncle. Love Carbuncle. The fact that I could just reuse it on small guys. Let me use that with uh, Ilua, and you're like, yeah, that's awesome. I think Ilua is the first time an opponent something, something, something. I haven't memorized all the cards yet, but don't worry. I'm going to memorize all of them before we get to the Boston Crystal Cup. For Glacia Labolas, Doom Train. Not bad. And hey, double Doom Train. Imagine opening that in sealed. All of a sudden you're like, yeah, 
think I'm gonna go ice. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh man, last pack. Already nine legendaries. What do you guys think? Double legendary pack? That'd be great. That'd be a great way to end this video. But you know what? I already got some pretty good packs, so whatever this is. Oh goodness. I was ready to be disappointed. Square Enix, you've done it again. You have spoiled me. Spoiled Eldnark. Spoiled Eldnark. And Atella. You know what? That's awesome. <coughs> so, as I've noticed from opening five boxes so far, um, no double legendary, no double legendary yet. But legendary plus uh, foil starter has happened, and you know what? Ten legendaries in a box, it's not so bad. Let's see, ah, this pile is a eh, pile, but guess what? We've got eight good legendaries to make up for it. So definitely no complaints. I mean. <coughs> Eldnark, Van, Diablos, Orphan. Good cards. Great cards. So, all right. Thank you for joining me for this box opening. And as a reminder, once more, please hit the subscribe button so that you can be entered into the uh, random drawing for these lightning sleeves. Hard to find nowadays. You know what? I don't even know if, if it's really how hard it is to find them nowadays. Square Enix product, 60 pieces. More than enough for your deck. All right, so thank you very much, and we'll catch you next time. Oh, and uh, thank Magitech for providing us all this, uh, for helping us get those boxes. Magitech Games, awesome place for singles.